and Tangella too. And our host, Vincent Van Dahl. And he brings it to ya! Creature features! And all creatures! Tonight, we have such an incredible movie that we won't bother you with a lengthy introduction about a guest that we shall tonight forego. But quickly, welcome to Creature Features. I am Vincent, that is Tangella, and the man with the dour face to this side would be the major domo of the estate, the esteemed Mr. Livingston. And have we a super incredible and blazingly brilliant program in store for you tonight? Because for the first time in Creature Features history, we shall present the epic film, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Filmed in 1954, this Disney classic stars Kirk Douglas, James Mason, and the amazing Peter Lorre. The film was edited by the talented Elmo Williams and... <clears throat> now what? Wrong movie. What do you mean, wrong movie? It says so right there on my cue card, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. The title is correct. However, the year, the production, and the actors are entirely different. A 1997 TV movie? I don't think I shall like this one. And it stars Richard Crenna, you say? Would this have been before or after he talked down John Rambo from the mountain? This happens to be a viable and noteworthy production of the film. And quite fortunately, it lacks the puerile humor of the Disney adaptation. Well then, so be it. Let's get it started then, shall we? And don't go away, because it shall be another night of undersea fright. Right here on Creature Features! <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome to Creature Features. We're going to have a fantastic film tonight. You know, I was a bit, I was a bit pessimistic about this, but I did some reading since, since the, 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 the advertisement, and it's not a bad film. No. It was done by the people who make the Hallmark movies. Really? I know he watches the Hallmark movies. He, he likes the one about the busy New York executive woman who goes home and finds love. That's his favorite kind of film. He only wishes they weren't done in German or some other European language. In any case, uh, welcome to the show. Uh, if you're just watching the show for the first time ever, uh, you're in for a shock. Look at this face. But uh, you're going to have fun because it's a good movie. We've got Tangella with us tonight. And no guest because uh, why did we not get a guest tonight? Was there... We made a mistake in scheduling. Oh, you know, this happens sometimes because, you know, the days of the week all look the same. To me. They all have days in them. They do, and they all end in Y. So, I, I could see why people are confused, especially celebrities. You know, they, they don't know how to operate an itinerary. It's their personal assistants. That's what it is. No, they're handlers. Right? No, they're, that's different. Oh, all right. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get this film started. When we come back, uh, we'll probably get Andrew out a little bit later. We'll do some mail, and we're going to have fun. But 20,000 Leagues in the Sea, it's got to be a good film with a name like that, right? Yes. Right. Off we go. See you soon.
How many of those bloody things do you have now? They fill a room. They fill an entire room. Well, you know, she does like octopi. And it does look somewhat like a hair. I mean, I could, I could do an Tangel impersonation just by putting one of these up on my head. You should try it. Well, no, thank you. No, thank you. She loves these bloody things. Anyway, so welcome back to the show. We are watching 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, and I think that's why she's got that. She's expecting an octopi scene. But uh, this film, uh, as you've noticed, is uh, not the original Disney film, but I like this one better. I'm, pleasant, I'm pleasantly surprised. Mm. No, it's, it's, it's well made. It's got competent thespians and... It's not bad. No, it's nicely done, nicely done. However, the, the name does confuse me. 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Now, I look this up, and to get to the core of the Earth is only 500 leagues. So how in blazes does one go 20,000 leagues under the sea? They travel under the sea straight ahead. So they're going around the world under the sea. For 20, so why did they leagues. call it Twenty Thousand Leagues Around the World Under the Sea? Title is too long. It's already too bloody long. All right, that's confusing. So, anyways, that's it. Yeah, Mr. Livingston says it's because they're traveling. It's distance under the not sea, depth. not depth. But you know, it's implied that it's depth, right? In the title, some, by the some people might interpret it that way. No, I think all people interpret it that way. No, except for Mr. Livingston, because he knows things. He, he knows things he shouldn't know. Indeed. He, he knows things that would give us all nightmares. And put people in jail. Oh, we won't talk about that. In any case, uh, let's get back to the film. When we come back, we're going to do some mail that you sent us, because we've got a big stack of mail, right? We have. We do. All right, we're going to do some mail, but first let's get back to 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, 1997 version. See you soon. Hello YouTube viewers, have you subscribed yet? I see a few of you have forgotten to do so. I am somewhat disappointed. Please subscribe. Thank you. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, you are watching Creature Features, and we are watching 20,000 Leagues Around the Sea. Not around the sea. Mm. <laughs> Anyways, uh, time to do mail, because you sent us mail, or somebody out there sent us mail, and we have to read it, right? Yes. That is the rules. William Craner from Cedar Rapids, Iowa, a little bit here. William Kramer, I think. Do you say Craner? Craner. I think it's Kramer. We'll find out. It's a handwritten note, which Mr. Livingston was kind enough to type up for me because he knows I have trouble reading sometimes and I read very slow. All right, uh, hello, Robin and I watch your show every night. Every bloody night. These people do it every night. Every single bloody night. They're fans. That's right. Tangela is really cool and neat. Yes, she is very cool. She is definitely not neat, asked Mr. Livingston. Oh. Uh, Livingston 2, you're great. We look forward to watching your show in the future. We like Dracula, Frankenstein, Wolfman, and Bela Lugosi. Uh, William Craner. Uh, Dracula, Frankenstein, Wolfman, we, we can't do much for you on those films, but Bela Lugosi, he's on our show quite a bit, is he not? And yes, indeed. You would almost think he's a friend of the program, a friend of the production. How often he graces our screen, right? True. Right, right. Thanks for, for writing. He's a classic. He is a classic. This one from Joseph Dalton. 
in... Did you say Dolphin? Dalton. Dalton. Like the Dalton boys. No, I know. That's a Western quite, fame. That's a nice British name. Dolphin is not. Dolphin. Oh, it's a card with a duck. She likes ducks. All right, Joseph Dalton. Let's see what Joseph has to say. We've got two notes. How does this go? Is this like two letters from two different people, or which one do I read first? The card. All right. Uh, sending you warm and fuzzy wishes for a happy Valentine's Day. You know, for, for a girl that can be so cruel sometimes, she does like Valentine's Day. Uh, dear Tangela, I hope this card finds a place in your heart. You are very pretty, and I like watching you on Creature Features. Very nice. And then uh, here's another note to the rest of us. says, Dear Cast at Creature Features. Cast. Would you please give this Valentine's Day card to Tangela? You told me to read the other one first. I should have read this one first. I wanted to trick you. I can't find the show Creature Features on television stations around here. Where is he? Malmet, Illinois. I suppose we don't have a station on there. I sure wish that I could. Well, please take care to all the staff, and would you ask Tangela to please send her picture? Thanks, Joseph Dalton. Okay. So... She will probably send you a picture of one of her ducks, since you sent her a picture of one of yours. She said, how many ducks do you have now? You have many. More than she knows when she makes that face. Next up, Mr. Livingston. And a dreaded package. A dreaded package? Why is it dreaded? Because there's so many. We have, we have to create another room for the packages. Oh, all right. Well, maybe some of these things we could donate to charity or something like that. All right, you need to get rid of the octopi and take care of this. And this is a fabulous card, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. This is incredible, and it's falling with money. There's money, money, money. Okay, where do we start? First off, we have a beautiful card, and I will show that. It's like a haunted house 3D card. Look at this. You see? No, you got to look, look. Well done. All right. And uh, greetings, residents, residents of the Poulton Mansion. It is I, granddaughter Edie, my grandpa Monty, wrote last summer and figured it was my turn to write in and say hello. Our family habitually watches your show every Friday and Saturday night. Now, this is some very nice language for a young girl. Indeed. I wonder if she had some help with this, uh, this letter. Uh, Mr. Livingston, the shows are not the same without you. Can you please tell us one thing you do for fun when you're off on Friday nights? I go to the pub and play darts. He does. He's quite good at darts, too. Although I think she's better. But she, she, she throws more darts at people than he does. He uses targets. She uses a blowgun. And she practices mm -hmm. on moving objects. Last Halloween, my mama and I had fun dressing up as Miss Tangella. We cannot get enough of her mischievous antics. She is delightfully devilish Harpo Marx of our generation. We blow a kiss to her for the laughter and the pain she bestows upon us all. Vincent, you are a most charismatic host. See, I told you. Oh. No, I told him I'm the most charismatic host, and he, he, he always makes that face. Uh, your writing and comedic delivery with your flatmates and guests is a gas. In short, please keep the shows rolling and we shall continue to stay tuned. Uh, P.S. Hello to Tom, the man behind the curtain. Thank you for your dedication and for commuting from Petaluma to the mansion each week. You did a magnificent job on Up Late with Bob Wilkins' documentary. Much love, granddaughter Edie and the Monty family. All right, so we got a couple of things in here. We've got two... 20 American dollar bills, which is very kind, and they will not go to Tangela because she will spend them on explosives. But this is the best part right here. We've got, and we'll put up some big ones. Photos. We've got Mama dresses Tangela. Mm. Look at this. Look at this. But this is my favorite right here. This is Edie dressed as Tangela. Look at that. And you know what? She looks more like Tangela than you do. No, she looks great. And she, she has the underlook that you do. That's wonderful. And a nicer skull. Thank you so much for writing. Thank you for the gifts. And, uh, oh, we, we have those gifts I haven't even looked at. Mm -hmm. What do we got here? For Vincent, what is this? This is all from the same people. Yes. You spoil us, dear friends. 
All right, this is uh, Vincent's Quavage Extra Side Table Hair Spray. My brand with my face. I'll put that there. And a skunk. Oh, what's this? An octopi, that's an octopi necklace. That's for you, right? Mm -hmm. And the skunk is for you? And I got some ties, a bolo tie and a bow tie. A bolo tie and a bow tie. Yeah. My goodness, how sweet. A bolo tie with a scorpion in it. You are too <coughs> kind. All right. Thank you. That's it for mail, right? That's it. All right, if you'd like to send us an email, use the address you see appearing over here, or if you'd like to send a wonderful box of gifts and pictures, send it to the postal address you see right here. We're going to get back to 20,000 leagues under the sea, and we'll be back after the break with Andrew. See you soon. is brought to you by CreatureFeatureStore.com, the official merchandiser of Creature Feature accessories. Welcome back to Creature Features. It's it's Bubble Sea World here. Did you put him up to this? Yeah. She threatened him. <sighs> yeah, you know, I'm I'm wondering, does he get more abuse because he does cooperate or because he does not cooperate and he's trying to avoid the abuse? No, he's he's like a little he's a, like a little elf right now. It's interesting. Not so little. Not so little. Anyways, uh, if you're just joining us, we are watching 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. You know, I like this, this production of this film. It's a good one. And, you know, Tom was telling me they spent $15 million to make this movie. Well, no wonder it's good. Well, we never show $15 million movies on this program. I don't recall any. No, we're, we're lucky if we show a $15 program on this movie. On well, the movie, a little on more this program. than that. Well, not much more. Now, we tend to have low-budget fare, do we not? Uh, you're not paying any attention to me. You're, it's just bubbles. Yes, but they get on my suit. All right, well, don't stress over. We'll have a dry clean for you. My Thank goodness. you. My goodness. In any case, uh, how are you doing, Tangela? Hey, you keep bringing out these. Let me see this one. This one's got amazing eyeballs. This was sent in by a viewer, right? Very authentic looking. Now you bought this one? Look at those eyes. Those are wonderful. They're like creepy. Isn't there a scene in this film where the uh, Nautilus... I believe so. Tom, does the Nautilus get attacked by an octopi in this version of the yeah, film? I don't know. You don't know. A Kraken? Huh? A Kraken. Unleash the Kraken. There's no unleashing of the Krakens in this film. All right, and uh, how are you doing, Andrew? Are you all right? I think he's having too much fun with this bubble machine. Yeah, you know, I'm surprised you let him take that bubble. She's always spraying him in the face with that bubble machine. Maybe he plans to get revenge upon her or something. I don't know. In any case, uh, we're getting silly here. I think you'd rather see the movie than this monstrosity. So uh, let's get back to the film. And uh, when we come back, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll f you're going to tell us something interesting, right? I don't have anything interesting to say. That's true. All right, we'll see you soon. Bye. This is Brian from Columbus, Ohio, big fan of Creature Features. Would love to see Island of Terror with Peter Cushing from 1966. A uh, little great horror flick from back in the day. Uh, keep up the good work and uh, hope to see the movie soon. Bye.
This is Livingston, and you're watching Creature Features. Not now. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Creature Features. It is 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea night. A fun time. No guests tonight because uh, we had some kind of scheduling issue. There. We did. Well, we did. they did, actually. Yeah, yeah. So we won't, uh, we won't bother you too much. And uh, Andrew's getting a little crazy with the bubbles, so uh, we'll make this quick and get back to the film. But Livingston, did you know that they ended up writing a book for this movie? In 1870. Well... Probably, but no, they made the movie and it was so good. A bloke named Jules Verne wrote a book. He did indeed. Right, yeah. He's, I'm trying to do a show here and you're irritating my, my co-host, Andrew. Andrew. My, my goodness, he's... Go in the corner. I, I think he had too much coffee today. No, no, so, you know, I think I should read this book. Right? You should, it's a very good book, actually. Have you read it? It's on my library. It, was it ever on the New York Times bestseller list? I believe it was. Oh, all right. The New York Times is older than you think. Oh, it is? Indeed. You know, it's the paper of record. That's what they say. Right, right, the paper of record. All right, well, let's get back to this film, and then uh, when we come back, uh, we'll have some more interesting trivia about this movie. So uh, don't you go away, and the film gets better and better and better, right? It does. It does. Off we go. See you soon. Hello, this is Mr. Livingston. It would appear I have been tasked with requesting you to help our show financially by visiting our patron page. Your generosity will help us keep Creature Features on the air. With only a few dollars a month from you, your kindness will allow us to continue creating new entertainment for your viewing pleasure each and every week. And if you have the desire to give more, you might even receive a gift from Tangela. I think not. Please visit the website below to learn more. Thank you. Welcome back to Creature Features. We are watching 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, and we've got Andrew and his irritating bubble machine with us. Um, you know... Uh, I find his headgear more irritating than that. You know, it's a, it's a nice chapeau, but there's something that uh, Tangela typically wears, is it not? Indeed. Right. Yeah. You know, why don't we save the bubbles for another time? I think we've had enough of the bubbles. He's like a child. Is, is, yeah, is he on something? His second I mean, childhood. I, I've never seen him so, so playful. All right, so let's, let's just ease up on the bubbles, right? Yes. Mm. He's pestuous, just like her. Oh, my goodness. All right, uh, anyways, uh, so some, some more fun facts about this film. Did you know that this film was made at Pinewood Studios? 
Very popular place. In the UK. Very now, famous. I've been to Pinewood Studios. It's Have massive. You? Now, it makes Hollywood look like an amateur facility. Is that the one yeah. that's right next to Pine Plastic Studios? No, it's Pine Wood. He was trying to make a joke. I know he was. And he's still blowing. You know, if you keep doing that, I'm going to have Tangela come deactivate this, this device of yours. He's, no, you know, he normally plays with tools, wrenches and things like that, right? Which he should be doing right now. Right, no, it's like, he, he just won't stop now, will he? Tangela, can you take care of this issue, please? If you would. Problem solved. All right, what do you say we get back to this film? Yes. All right, well, that settles that. Let's, uh, let's get back to 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, and we'll see you soon. And so ends 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. You know, I like that ending. Did you? Did you like the whole film? Well, I did as well. No, it's, it's a good movie. I, you know, I think, I think it should have won an Academy Award. Well, I don't know if it was that good. Or an Emmy. Or, you know, it had a nice soundtrack. It could have won a Grammy as well. Maybe it won all three and we just don't know. No, I, I think it was a wonderful film. And uh, this one, did you check his pulse? He's breathing. All right. Well, he might not have a pulse. He could be breathing without a pulse, you know. It's possible. I find that difficult to understand. You know, he, I think he wanted to be like a professor or a doctor or something like this. Imagine, Dr. Livingston. You know, what kind of scientist would Dr. Livingston be? I, I bet he would be the one that studies bugs. Entomologist, what they call that? Entomologist? An entomologist. He would be an entomologist because he studied of bugs. All the bugs. Anthropologists, probably. Anthropology, right. Study the strange human beings. Yeah. Anybody in particular? I won't say. Yeah. See, so listen to him. Anyways, uh, that is it for us tonight. So what do we got going on next week? We've got uh, another movie. And uh, I think we have a guest. I think we have a guest. I think we have a guest. And so uh, we're going to have a guest. We're going to have a movie. Uh, hopefully he will wake up again because we need the guest chair. And uh, I think it'll be a good movie. Because I, I saw the list of movies we have coming, and every one of them I went ooh and ah. You do that every time. No, not like this, because I went ooh and ah. Uh -huh. And she even said ooh and ah. You know her. She uh -huh. never says ooh and ah. No, she doesn't. No, so that's it. All right, well, I think that's it for us. Uh, thank you so much for watching our program tonight. We hope you enjoyed the film. We hope you enjoyed our antics, and we hope you will uh, subscribe to us on YouTube and join us next week for another movie and a guest and some fun. Don't forget we love you and we'll see you next time. So uh, Livingston, I'm thinking if I were to produce a replica of the Nautilus, I could, I could take a, a, a world tour underwater. I can't wait for the day. Mm.